let us recall one mole of atoms contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms and its mass is equal to the gram atomic mass of the element similarly for molecules we have one mole of molecules contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules and its mass is equal to the gram molecular mass of the compound now ram gave two moles of calcium hydroxide to sham as an important ingredient for white washing what is the mass of calcium hydroxide that sham received from ram until and unless we know the amount of calcium hydroxide received in mass the number of moles does not make any sense right also calcium hydroxide is a very important ingredient for white washing so ram gave two moles of calcium hydroxide and sham wants to know what is the amount of calcium hydroxide that he received so let's first calculate the relative molecular mass of calcium hydroxide we are given the relative atomic masses of each of the elements so we have calcium hydroxide contains one atom of calcium which has 40 atom relative atomic mass it contains 2 into 1 two atoms of oxygen so we have each atom of oxygen has relative atomic mass 16 so we get 2 into 16 plus there are two atoms of hydrogen and each atom of hydrogen has relative atomic mass 1 there are two atoms so this is 40 this is 32 and this is 2 so on adding we get 4 and 7 so this is the relative molecular mass of calcium hydroxide and when we express the relative molecular mass in grams we get the gram molecular mass so the gram molecular mass of calcium hydroxide is 74 grams now let's recall we know that one mole of molecules contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules and its mass is equal to the gram molecular mass so from here we see that 74 grams is one mole now ram had given two moles of calcium hydroxide to sham so one mole weighs 74 grams which is the gram molecular mass of calcium hydroxide so two moles of calcium hydroxide weighs 74 divided by 1 into 2 this is by using the unitary method so we get 8 and 14 so ram had given 148 grams of calcium hydroxide to sham for whitewashing let's try to do a question here sonali used 0.12 moles of baking soda which is nahco3 to make a cake what is the amount of baking soda that she had used again baking soda is a very important ingredient which is used in cakes it makes the cake fluffy and helps it to rise so she had used 0.12 moles of baking soda if she goes and asks the shopkeeper for 0.12 moles of baking soda well that would not make any sense to the shopkeeper right so she should specify the amount in grams or kgs etc so let's try to find the amount of baking soda that sonali had used let's start with the relative molecular mass of baking soda which is nahco3 so there is one atom of sodium each atom has relative atomic mass 23 then there is one atom of hydrogen each having the relative atomic mass 1 then there is one atom of carbon 
each having relative atomic mass 12 and then there are three atoms of oxygen so each having the relative atomic mass 16 so this remains 23 1 12 and 16 threes are 48 so if we calculate we get 8 9 10 11 plus 3 14 and then we have 2 plus 1 3 4 and 4 8 and the relative molecular mass expressed in grams is known as the gram molecular mass so the gram molecular mass of baking soda is 84 grams so the gram molecular mass of NaHCO3 which is baking soda is 84 grams and recalling that one mole of molecules weighs equal to the gram molecular mass of the substance so now we know that 84 grams is the mass of one mole so one mole of baking soda is 84 grams and Sonali had used 0.12 moles of baking soda so that weighs 84 divided by 1 into the amount that she had used which is 0.12 so if you will calculate this you will get 10.08 grams which is approximately equal to 10 grams of baking soda that she used so now Sonali goes and tells the shopkeeper she needs 10 grams of baking soda that obviously makes sense to the shopkeeper so recalling that one mole of atoms contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms and its mass is equal to the gram atomic mass of the element similarly for molecules one mole of molecules contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules and its mass is equal to the gram molecular mass of the compound. 